Good morning. A special good morning to Jonathan and uh, New York Jason and uh, I think Ted and anybody else who happens to live in New York. I've been to New York City twice. Uh, yeah, interesting place. Uh, big. Tall buildings. <laughs> Big difference from Winnipeg. Anyway, uh, yeah, I had a very interesting and you might say heartwarming evening. And uh, it, it has to do with that all that you see right there. As I said, I think you call it an all. Uh, I think in, in uh, the Japanese word for it is it's uh, something different but it it came th that thing came from japan it was made in japan i think it's it's uh, i think jewelers use them a lot anyway uh i deal with it in the rollback how i acquired it last night it was a it was a surprise uh anyway uh what we're going to do today is we are going to try and get those in place on here. Shouldn't be too hard, we've done it before. Didn't we make four of these for the hood? And then there's something I want to talk about uh, right here. Uh, I want a deal in, that has to de deal with the, uh, with the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin or Extra Thin Quick Setting. When I was looking at these little parts close up, uh, well, we'll deal with that later. In the, mean, in the meantime, let's let's roll back and uh, find out how is it that I ended up with this. Now I'm guessing about an hour ago, my doorbell rings and I look in the monitor and I see a delivery person standing at the door. Well, by this time it's dark outside. One, one package for you in the mailbox. Oh, thank you very much. Have a great night. Yeah, you too. Thank you. You're working late. Yeah. So and uh, when I get to the door, I realize it's the mailman. I was, you know, the mailman usually does his thing during the daylight hours. I was asking him, you know, <clears throat> he had to work late or something, and he said that he had other things to do or something to that effect. Anyway, I got a package here, and at first I see the Amazon thing, and I thought, well, what did I order that I forgot about? But I'm seeing now it says U.S. postage, so whatever it is, it came from the, from the States. I know what it feels like. <laughs> it, it feels like my electric toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. Maybe somebody's uh, trying to give me a hint here. Thirty millimeter. Instruction manual.
I'll take a look at this later. You know, being a man, I always uh, try the thing out and then when I can't figure it out, then I read the manual. Okay, it looks like it might be something that's, that's sharp here, so I want to be careful. Oh, you know what that is? That's uh, uh, for reaming out a hole, making a, you start, start the hole s small and then the further up you go, the bigger it gets. Okay, let's try and figure out who this is from. <clears throat> it's, it's probably from a viewer. Well, I'm, I'm sure that somebody is going to say, hey, that was me. Um, yeah. All right, well, whoever sent it, thank you very much. Yeah, I know what that is. Okay. Uh, let's put this aside before I hurt myself with it, and uh, I guess that's what this is for. No, that's not what that's for. I guess this was uh, just for, sort of like to make it as safe to mail. Um, all right, <laughs> let's move on here. Uh, yeah, well, whoever sent this, uh, thank you very much. We'll figure it out. Okay, I thought if I took my label off, the label that is underneath here might have the name of whoever sent it, but it's, it's been removed. But I, I know that it came from somebody in Texas. All the way down from Texas, my goodness. Now here is what's happened. After I put on my stronger glasses and read the fine print, I got a name and an address. And I went on the internet and I got a phone number. So I called the number, but there was no answer, but there was an answering machine. So I've left a message. And uh, Thomas, <laughs> I hope you got the message. I hope I phoned the right place. Anyway, once again, thank you. Now I got curious here, where exactly is Bernie, Texas? Well, it turns out it's pretty much straight south of Winnipeg. A long way straight south. Now, not as far south as Mark in Australia, but it's a long way south of Winnipeg. Now I'm looking at the instructions here. And it appears to me that there is supposed to be... Hello? Oh, okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. I'll watch for you. All right. You betcha. Okay. Today is grocery day. That was my neighbor to let me know he's going to be coming with the groceries soon. Anyway, um, where were we here? Okay, so I'm noticing that. Um, I'll move you in. Okay, uh, maybe I should be putting the macro lens on. Uh, I don't think we did this. In fact, I know we didn't. There's a bit of a curve in, in this thing. And uh, I, last, I remember the last ones that we made for, on the, uh, uh, for the hood, we just, we just bent it at right angles. But I want to put a little, bit of a, a little bit of a curve on this one. Give it a little bit of pizzazz, you might say. I'll, I'll put the macro lens on. I'll show you what I'm what I'm looking at here. Yeah, when you see it close up like this, it's it's quite clear that there's a a bit of a radius here, and uh, I think it might look more realistic, uh, even though at arm's length we're not going to notice it. So uh, let's let's just sort of set up here and see if we can't just do that. I want to make sure that I that I do it the right way. 
Um, I don't think it would be really serious of which way it went, but there's going to be a... There's the folding lens. I had it the wrong way up. Yeah, you can see the folding lens quite clear now. Now, that would mean that this piece here should bend forward like this. And uh, so that would mean then that the radius would be the other way. But just let me uh, reset up a little bit so it's more convenient to do my bending. Okay, if we can keep this right over top of that little black dot, I know that you can see it. As long as I just keep that in mind. All right. Now the folding line is like this, but the the bend has to go the other way because we're going we're going to want to be folding folding this forward like this. So uh, that means that we're going to have to turn it back over again. I think I got that straight. Now, uh, in the event that this cloth doesn't work out, then I will do it on the uh, on the uh, manual. It's it's probably soft enough here. So we just just want to put a little a little radius on it here. I'm trying to do this so that you can see it happening. Maybe the maybe the uh, this thing is is too. Uh, it's not really bending, is it? It's, it's bending at the folding line, but we're not getting an. I'm wondering if well, there's a little bit of a bend there. I'm wondering if possibly this is is too uh, large a diameter. I'm going to try it on the manual. Yeah, maybe it was a bad idea doing it on the uh, green cloth here. Okay, maybe I'll use this little arrow as sort of a reference. Now, now I don't want to bend. I, whoops! I don't want to bend these parts that come come down. They have to stay straight. It only has to bend from the folding line up. Now it's important that I get the uh, the dowel at 90 degrees to this thing, otherwise the bend is going to be kind of corkscrewed. Okay, here we go. I'm pushing down so hard I'm hurting my fingers. I think I'm going to find a smaller one. Just, just bear with me here. Okay, this one is only actually marginally smaller. And to avoid hurting my fingers, I'm going to put a a larger one on top to just roll. Now I have to have it back far enough that I can see. Did we get it? See, it's, it's easy to put a, a right angle bend on there, but we're trying to get this to, to bend around. I, maybe I'm going about this wrong. It's, it's not the sort of thing you can use the photo etch plier on because the, uh, the Tamiya photo etch plier is going to end up putting a, a sharp bend in it. You know, maybe we're just going to have to forget about that and we're just going to have to bend it forward now. Maybe I should be doing it in, in Andy's photo etch bender instead of like this. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to put it in Andy's bender. Okay, one more try here. This is uh, one of those, those little pads that you stick on the bottom of something to keep it from sliding around on a countertop or a tabletop. And uh, it might be too soft. Well, I do believe we got it a little bit more. Yeah, pretty sure we did. 
Once again, I'm, I'm hurting my fingers here. There, now I can press harder. Okay, I, I do believe we we bent it somewhat more. Uh, it's not as bent as much as it looks, but uh, okay, now let's do the other bends. Okay, once again, stupidity prevailed. When I stuck that thing down, I knew that it was a little bit sticky, but I thought, oh, it'll peel off the paper. Oh yeah, it did, paper and all. Now, it, it's a good thing that uh, we basically know how this is supposed to go. And also, this this part, I did it this whole this whole page. I have photographed it, so uh, you know. We <laughs> but that was stupid, Ron. What's wrong with you? Okay, I did the other one, and I didn't get much more of a radius in it. Uh, they're both about the same, uh, but but there is a bit of curvature going on there. Now. My neighbor isn't back yet with the groceries, but when he does, I'm going to want to be, uh, remember I, I told you I, I buy in bulk, so so I've got to bag a lot of stuff for the freezer and stuff like that. Now speaking of freezer, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I snapped a picture of my thermometers that are in the computer room. One re reads the fridge, one reads the freezer, and the other reads the temperature outside. And I do believe it was uh, 10 degrees colder outside than it was in the freezer. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Now, I'm just going to have to eyeball this. Uh, where's that doll? This is actually uh, having more resistance than I thought it would. Um, okay, I believe it's, I believe that would be about right. I suppose what we can do is is try it on one of the guns and see how it looks, and then we can always uh, redo it again later. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think that's going to be about right. And then the and then the sights, those little sights on the top, they can be bent afterwards. Yeah, let's get one of our guns and try it on. Okay, I do believe it's supposed to go something like this. That's about as far down as it's going to go, as near as I can tell. I might have to pick it up and uh, hold it up close to my eyes here so I can see what I'm doing. Why is that not going down? Oh, 
I think that's about I think that's about right. And then and then the uh, sights will be bent afterwards. I think we glue it first. Yeah, this has to uh Okay, I'm trying to move it to, so that the camera can see it here. It's just to go at more of an angle. You know, something like that. And it seems to me we used uh, CA medium on that before. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, recompose here. Okay, I don't think our uh, CA glue has completely set here yet. Um, and yes, Vic, if you're watching, once again, I put too much on. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not going to come off anyway. Now, as far as these little sights go, what what we do is we we bend it forward so that it's looking out the front. The idea is that somebody standing behind this gun, looking through this slot here, is supposed to be able to line the sight out, sight up or something. Um, Undoubtedly, there was more paraphernalia on the real gun than there is here, but there's there's pretty good detail going on here. Um, all right, let's see if we can't maybe bend those sights. Okay, now let's try not to bump this out of the field of view here. Now, if I grab onto it, using Tony's tweezers here to hold against myself. Oops. Okay, now if this bends down like that, it's not quite straight. If I don't straighten it up, it's going to miss the target. Probably in, the, in editing, I'm going to see that I've completely moved it out of the, everybody's vision here. Okay, how does that look? Let me check the monitor. Could be worse. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one off camera, it'll be a lot easier. Well, folks, it's gonna have to do. Now, I have to apologize to everybody here. I'm gonna have to cut this episode off. Yeah, life happened to, to me today and uh, things just sort of got out of hand, you might say. Nothing serious, just time consuming stuff. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna have to cut this episode off. And we'll have to look at the uh, little pieces that involve the CA or the uh, the extra thin tomorrow. Um, yeah, you know, or maybe I'll work at it tonight. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and all being well, we will see you tomorrow.